The orignation is a sub-period of the Upper Paleolithic that occurs from about 44 to 31,000 years ago, and it's when modern humans like us would have been moving westwards from the Balkans all the way through as far north as North Wales and into Iberia. There's a key artefact from this time that archaeologists often refer to, and it is the split-based point with this uh, nice split in the antler that you can see there. I was fascinated with these for my PhD thesis because they're quite unlike any other prehistoric artefact. And it's mainly for this split at the base. Were people using and making these because they saw an advantage in antler spears over stone that occurred before and after the orignation? Stone is brittle and it, that allows me to actually flake it. And that brittleness is not great for projectiles that often have to hit surfaces, whereas antler being a naturally resistant material to shock is perfect for that. But I think there was something more to them than that. And I think it was actually in this split here. You can split stone, but once it's split through, that's it. You can't split it and maintain a notch to potentially facilitate a haft, which we know through previous experimental archeology span would be something like this with a shortened shaft here. To answer this question a bit further, we have to look at the orignation environment. And we know through looking at organic samples from central France dating to the orignation, that the average July temperature would have been about five degrees, so seriously cold in the winter months. Now with those temperatures, the environment would have looked quite different to this nice, conveniently wooded environment I have around me with lots of potential spear shafts. It really would have been an Arctic or boreal tundra with vast areas of steppe grassland. So not many trees, not much firewood to keep you warm, and certainly not many straight, bendy, flexible spear shafts around. So is it possible that people were intentionally making that notch that you'd have to put in the spear shaft for stone tools in the antler so that the weakness was here rather than in the valuable spear shaft. Well, through experimental testing, I found that that was exactly the case, both in a lab and a sports field. It's likely that people were putting the weakness in these intentionally out of material they have lots of because they're hunting deer and improving the longevity of these spear shafts because it has no weakness, no split. That level of material preservation, that cognition is something we can't easily attribute to other parts of archeology. span It's just so hard to trace, but in the orignation, we have tantalizing evidence that these people were really carefully thinking about the raw materials around them. And that was what I found fascinating in my PhD research.